Uh, one thing that I'm impressed with with Damon, he's mature. He's a uh, he's a uh, way ahead of his time as far as mentally. He, he, he knows a lot, and uh, and and that part of his game has excelled, and he's doing well on the field too. Your unit, it's kind of one of the deeper ones on, on offense. You know, do you guys feel like there's a little bit more of a, a responsibility on your end to make sure that as a unit you guys are sharp on, across the board? Yeah, we want to we want to focus on being the most consistent group out here. We want to uh, hustle every play, uh, make big plays. We want to be the group that uh, that Coach Cooper counts on. So uh, that's what we focus on every day. We take coaching points and uh, and like I said, we just want to be the most consistent group out here. How would you just uh, uh, really, Coach Huber's offense is, uh, is set up to, uh, to to defeat matchups, and uh, and I think as run as a running back group, we have we have talented players, we have strength, we have speed, we have power, and uh, and I feel like Coach Cubit. Uh, knows how to how to set it up really well. I've heard it described as the pass sets up the run. Would that be kind of a fair way to describe what that offense kind of does? Uh, both ways, both ways. Uh, I mean, to, to be honest, I mean it's, 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 it's both ways because uh, I mean if, if the running game is not doing well, the pass is not going to work. If the pass game is not doing well, the running game is not going to work. So we both got to do well. Last question I ask you. I was talking to Coach Beckman yesterday, and he says and during one of the meetings, Corey Lewis stood up and told you guys the story about the uh, men in Hall and how he just kind of broke out of, out of nowhere. Can anything can happen for you guys? Do you kind of feel that way that one of you guys who just pretty much come out of nowhere and make a big play? Oh yes, sir. Um, well, he was talking about how um, the past years they weren't they weren't as big time as they were their junior years. Uh, Rashad. Uh, in the Rose Bowl year, when he had 1,600 yards, and then Mike Hill, he had hit a subpar, you know, sophomore season, and then seniors, I mean, junior season came out and had almost uh, 1,700 yards. So he was just expressing us, uh, don't don't think it can't happen. Just because we had a bad year last year doesn't mean that we can't break out and have a major season this year. But there's no really pressure for you guys to come up and take play every single time. No, no pressure. Like I said, we, we just want to be consistent. If we're consistent, then then a big place will come.